Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where we'll be guiding you on how to apply to sell NFT crypto art on SuperRare. At the end, we hope to give you enough information to help you succeed in this process. So imagine your digital art displayed alongside some of the most groundbreaking pieces in the NFT space. Welcome to SuperRare, a premier curated platform where digital art meets high-end collecting. If you're an artist looking to showcase your unique creations to a discerning audience, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll be taking you on a walk through some of the guided processes and expectations in order to successfully sell your NFT crypto art on SuperRare. Thus, we will be revealing some of the tips to navigate the selective application process and unlock the potential to reach a global collector base. So SuperRare isn't just another NFT marketplace, it is a curated ecosystem that champions originality and artistic merit. This means that they selectively approve artists. They prioritize rare, high quality digital arts that push creative boundaries. Now take a look at these examples. You'll notice the focus on unique styles, innovative techniques, and conceptual depth. SuperRare values artists who bring something truly special to the table. Beyond the platform itself, SuperRare fosters a vibrant community where artists and collectors connect, collaborate, and celebrate digital art. Understanding this vision will put you in a better position to be eligible for an invitation to be verified by SuperRare. So now we're going to take you through some of the steps to follow. First, you'll need to get to the SuperWare.com website. And then at the top right corner, you're going to click connect and this will ask you to connect a wallet. Here you have Phantom, Metamask, Coinbase wallet, Rabi wallet, and you can see the lot of them. Now, what will happen if you don't have a crypto wallet? What are you going to do? Well, at the bottom here, you have new to Ethereum wallets, learn more. So you can click on this and here it says a home for your digital assets. Wallets are used to send, receive, store, and display digital assets like Ethereum. Now, this is important if you're to work with SuperRare. That's why you need to have it. Secondly, it says it's a new way to log in. Instead of creating account and passwords on every website, just connect with your wallet. Now, if you decide to learn more along the way, you want to right-click on it, open in a new tab, and it takes you to this page where it explains Web3. So when you understand it better, you can come back and click on get a wallet. Now you have this different wallet as we saw there before, and you can choose the one you want. Now in our case, we already have Phantom, but just to help you get a better grasp at some of this processes, we will just be clicking on this button right here. Currently it's grayed out without any text. Maybe it's a glitch. However, you can click on this area here. When you do, it says Trust Wallet for Edge, and it also says Trust Wallet for Mobile. Now, depending on what you want or the platform you're on, if it's a mobile device or a desktop device, you want to click on which applies. In our case, we will be selecting the browser. If you click on Add to Edge, it's going to take you to this page where you can simply add it. So after making your choice, maybe you have these already, you can go over to your web browser. In my case, we had Phantom Wallet, clicking on it. And then you can say right here, I'm using the Edge browser and I'm going to click on Download for Edge. And after downloading it, we can see the Phantom icon right there. You can see enter your password and we're going to unlock it. But we're not going to do that right now. We're going to go back to our super rare, click on Phantom. And as you can see, we'll need to enter our password. And after entering the password, we're going to click on unlock, sign in message, confirm this network is Ethereum and click on confirm. And that's how we now have our wallet connected. Next, you're going to make sure that you're clicking on the complete profile. Without this, you will not be able to have access to other features. As you can see, we have our dashboard and edit profile. We're going to put in our username, which is required, put in the name, a short bio, and also get to upload a profile image. This doesn't look great, so you can, of course, choose yours. Remember, you're trying to curate your profile to make it attractive and standard. You're going to choose if you'd like to receive email notifications, so you're going to put in your email address right here. And also, you're going to add your social and web links, such as your website, if you're having Twitter or X, Discord, Instagram, and YouTube. After which, you can click on Save. 
So as you can see, we just had our details put in Terrarium Terra, and you can see the tag and the profile picture. Of course, you get to make your unique avatar or profile picture. And here in settings, you have your email notifications, which you want to put so you can receive notifications about your activity on Super Rare. As it says here, we will not share your email address with any third party, nor will it be visible on your profile. That's convenient, so we can click on save. So after all of that is done, the general guidance is to build a strong portfolio. As you can see some examples here, as we showed earlier, you also need to engage in the super rare community and then be prepared to present your work or artistic vision. From my research, super rare also has a private and negotiated sales service. From the website, they state that if you're looking to buy or sell a grail with the support of our white glove customer support, get in touch. So looking to sell a high value artwork, they can connect you with the right collector. Then you'll need to submit your artwork on the super rare website. Just to make the point clearer, you can come over here to curation, click on the drop down, and you can see here private sales, click on it. And here it says private and negotiated sales. So you can click on get in touch and send a mail. Now, after creating your account, and if you've been invited as an artist and completed the onboarding process, then you can head to superrare.com forward slash create. We're just going to put that right now. Click on enter. So here it says before you can access this page, you must be a verified artist. Now you'll be required to be a verified artist in order to sell. As we may have mentioned before, in order to become a verified artist, you will be vetted by Super Rare. So you just need to wait for this to happen and then you will be a verified artist. When you are one, you will be able to go ahead and sell NFT crypto art on Super Rare. So of course, when we go back to our profile and we go over to edit profile, you can see right here that you need to put in and showcase your content through your website, Twitter handle, Discord channel, Instagram or YouTube. When you do this and you're also active on the community pages in these different platforms, it will make it easier for them to make the selection process in your favor. Now, if you're wondering how you could get to their communities, you can scroll down to the bottom here and you can click on the different icons right here to gain access to locate where they are on these different social media platforms. For example, if we click on YouTube, you can see the super rare channel here on YouTube. You can click on subscribe. Then on X, you could also follow them and stay active on their posts. On Warpcast, you could also log in or create your account to follow them right there and stay active. Or also here on Reddit, you could also follow them and stay active in the community. All of these are to help you stay active, stay relevant and get noticed. So when you follow all these steps, you will be notified if you've been verified, after which you can start trying to sell your NFT crypto art on Super Rare. We hope this helped you to get a better grasp at how to apply to sell for NFT. In summary, you will be noticed, you will be invited, and then with your unique content and well-prepared and curated showcasing of your crypto art, you will be eligible to sell on Super Rare. At this point of this video, we hope we gave you enough information in order to succeed in getting to sell NFT crypto art on Super Rare.